welcome back viewers and subscribers to another episode of football daily transfers i'm your host sports is greg and i'll be giving you the latest topics and rumors in the world of um, football or transfer news as it happens all right so i want to start off today with some very interesting news for manchester united and this is one that i think will make a big impact if through and if they can get this deal done um, it has been reported by the mirror that incoming manager eric ten Hag, he has identified kante as his first signing now kante's contract runs out in 2023 so as unbelievable as this might sound or you know some fans especially chelsea fans might look at this as rather unlikely um kante hasn't really featured much for tushel as probably past managers past chelsea managers man you are desperately in need of a defensive midfielder of that stature and even though he's already at 31 years old we still see the job that he can get done moving on from there um Frankie de Jong of Barcelona it has been reported that he is even though Manchester United have been shown interest in him it's been reported that he is willing to part ways with his massive wages at Barcelona and take a move accept a move to Man City now I don't know how beneficial this will be for him or if Man City really needs um, another wing of that i mean not a midfielder of that kind but as reported by the mirror barcelona will be asking for either sterling or bernardo silva in return for frankie de young who is still under contract at barcelona contract doesn't run out for another three years so yeah it's been reported that barca are eyeing um, moves for either bernardo or sterling which the latter would really make sense for them. Not so sure if it would make sense for either Sterling or Bernardo joining Barcelona. So, yeah, that's what's happening in the world of Frankie de Young. Moving on, um, Goal.com is also reporting that Juventus are interested in bringing Pogba back to the Syria and have already started talks with him or his agent so let's see what happens there um pagba hasn't re-signed with man U and becomes a free agent at the end of the season which is only a couple weeks away so we'll be interested i mean everyone is watching that one the likes of psg and real madrid and barcelona have also been touted as possible destinations for him but Juventus is where he has had his most success in club football so it wouldn't be a major surprise if he makes a return there. Um, Kelsa Mercado is also reporting that Arsenal and Bologna have reached an agreement for the signing of Scottish left back Aaron Hickey. Now this is a very talented left back um, somewhat in the mold of uh, Tyranny at Arsenal or Robertson at Liverpool. He's only 19 years old or 20 and has already had three caps for us, the Scottish national team. You know, which is not easy to get into right now with those other two left backs that I've listed before being in the squad. But I've seen some games of him. It's a Serie A, so. You know who knows how much you can judge compared to the Premier League but he looks a very solid left back um, moving on more Arsenal news um, ESPN and other news outlets um, Fab had reported it as well that Arsenal are close to an agreement with Brazilian club Sao Paulo for the signing of um, forward Marquinhos 19 year old forward from Brazil 
Now, the interesting story about this is um, Arsenal might be able to get him for only £3 million as his contract expires this summer based on FIFA. Now, he actually signed a five-year contract with Sao Paulo, which would take him to another two years. But FIFA rules suggest that a young player um, can only sign three years contract, his first professional contract. So even though the, the, the player Marquinhos and um, Sao Paulo had an agreement for five years, it was, his per, it was his first professional contract. So FIFA is considering um, the, the latter two years um, not official. So technically his contract ends this summer and because of that and Sao Paulo not wanting to lose him for free, which he seems um, interested to move on from the club now, they are willing to take a, a, a smaller fee of only three million pounds for him, which currently his value is about 15 million. So let's follow this one closely and see um, they're claiming they're considered like another martinelli signing in terms of him, his price being pretty low but him turning out to be a very good player for arsenal now he's more of an inverted winger a left footer who likes to play off the right but he can play on either flank you know and with this possibility of him signing it leads one to wonder what will happen to somebody like Nicolas Pepe. Is this the end of his Arsenal journey? Well, the Mirror has reported that Seville over there in La Liga are interested in bringing him to their team um, with an initial loan move. You know, with the with the intention of buying him um, based on the, the, the loan move at the end of his, his one year loan. Um, another one to follow, not sure if Arsenal are willing to send him out on loan and then sell or if they want to just get him off the books right now. It's been reported for a long while that Arsenal are willing to cut their losses and sell him for as little as 25 million pounds compared to the 72 that was paid for him a few years ago. Um, also, Fabi Fabrizio Romano is reporting that Arsenal are preparing their first bid for Gabriel Jesus of Man City. City are looking for anywhere in the region of 42 to 50 million pounds for him. Um, so let's wait and see what Arsenal's opening bid will be. You know, if they're interested, hopefully it's not anything crazy like 30 million pounds but let's watch that one carefully and see and last but not least um another striker that may be in the move well more than likely is going to be in the move is divak Origi of liverpool um his contract ends this summer at liverpool and the team that has shown the most interest in him so far as reported by fabrizio romano again is ac milan of italian um syria now they have already made contact with him not sure how many other teams are showing interest but my question is um wouldn't a striker be a good addition to other premier league clubs current premier league clubs you know when you look at a team like west ham you know even newcastle this looks like a player that could be a very good addition to any of those teams currently. But let's watch this one and see. Uh, Milan are on the verge of winning a Serie A. So, you know, there will be Champions League football there for him if he joins them. But, yep, that's it for transfer rumors today. Let's watch and see which of these will become actual deals by the end of the summer and who will be making a move as the window opens in july all right thanks for watching have a great rest of your weekend and see you again bright and early monday for more chance for daily